Hi, in this video we'll be looking at how to tell whether or not an ordered pair is a solution to an equation. <clears throat> so you may recall learning previously that a solution to an equation is a value that makes the equation true. Now we just have two values. So we're testing to see if these two values make this equation true. So a, a coordinate pair, here we have a coordinate pair 1 comma negative 3. The 1 is our x coordinate because our x coordinate always comes first. And the negative 3 is our y coordinate because that always comes next. And there is an x and a y in our equation here. So all we have to do is substitute our x and y in that equation and see if it's true. So let's go ahead and do that. We get 2 times x is 1 minus y is negative 3, so minus negative 3. And we're testing to see if that is equal to 5. So when we go ahead and simplify that, we get 2 minus negative 3, so 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. And that's actually true. 5 is, in fact, equal to 5, which means that this is, in fact, a solution. Let's try one more. Okay, so here we go again. We have an ordered pair, 4, 7, and we want to see if it's a solution to this equation. So our x-coordinate is the 4. The first coordinate is our x-coordinate. And the second coordinate, 7, is our y-coordinate. And we go ahead and we plug those into that equation. We have 2 times x, so 2 times 4, minus y, and y is 7, is equal to 5. And so we have to test if that's true. So we get 8 minus 7 is equal to 5. Hmm, that looks a little bit fishy. 1 is equal to 5. Well, in no world can 1 be equal to 5. So all of these statements are not true. And for that reason, this is not a solution. So one more thing I do want to mention. There are infinitely many solutions for this equation. Even though 4 comma 7 is not a solution, we could figure out a solution that has an x value of 4. We could just plug in 4 and then figure out what y would be, and that would be a solution. So there are infinitely many solutions. However, this is not a solution, and this is a solution. So that's kind of how you can tell if an ordered pair is a solution. Just plug those values in and see if you get a true statement. 